Let's talk about how solar energy is going to change the world. This is something that we have already made a ton of progress on over the past decade, with solar energy generation in the United States growing from just 0.34 gigawatts in 2008 to about 97 gigawatts in 2022, accounting for over 3% of all electricity generated in the country. Over that same time period, the cost of solar photovoltaic panels has dropped by over 70% on average, finally reaching a level that is economically competitive with conventional energy sources like natural gas. We know that Tesla began their own journey into the field of solar energy in 2016 when they acquired technology and infrastructure from SolarCity. But in the time since then, Tesla Solar has been a bit stagnant. Sure, they do sell and install lots of solar panels, and they have had what could best be described as mild to moderate success with the solar roof product. But in large part, the solar industry has been leaving Tesla behind as the market quickly trends towards higher efficiencies, broader use cases, and massive scale thanks to automation and autonomy. So, where is solar energy headed in the next decade, and what will Tesla have to accomplish if they are going to catch up with the field, or even lead the pack? For the first time in a long time, big things are happening at Tesla Solar. In their Q2 2022 financial report, the company revealed that they deployed 106 megawatts worth of solar cells, the largest single quarter deployment since 2017. And it's safe to say that this was not just a fluke, but a legitimate sign that the company is turning their focus back to solar with a new sense of urgency. In their report, Tesla said that while import delays were still very much a problem that is beyond their control, they have been able to expand their supplier base to enable growth in this sector. The company also notes that their installation teams have been working to improve installation efficiency to enable higher volumes and stronger economics. This is a very important step change because much like Tesla vehicles, there has never been a problem with demand for Tesla solar products, but there has always been a lack of supply. We learned more in the weeks following that report when details from an internal meeting at Tesla Energy revealed that big changes are on the way for the second half of 2022. Tesla's senior manager of solar products and engineering, Seth Wingler, outlined many of the behind the scenes changes that had already been made to optimize Tesla Solar. The key among them being greater vertical integration of their product lineup. The most significant change so far began in 2021 when Tesla began the transition away from using third party solar panels and inverters. Previously, Tesla had been using panels from the South Korean energy company Hanwha and inverters from Israeli company Solar Edge. By 2022, this had been transitioned exclusively to Tesla's in-house made solar products. Winger said in the meeting, quote, in 2022, we are heavily investing in Tesla products. I can't say exactly what is coming. We want to maintain confidentiality, but across the board on PVs, on solar roof, on power wall, look forward to greatly improved installation, efficiency, aesthetic, and product performance. Again, greatly improved installation efficiency is the major takeaway there. Just get the panels onto the roofs and fast. We know that part of this solution is the new solar roof version 3.5. This is currently in a testing phase that is limited to the homes of Tesla employees. We don't know much about this yet, but early reports seem to indicate that the biggest change to the product is in the durability and ease of installation. Tesla already improved the energy efficiency of their solar roof version 3 in 2021, moving from a 58 watt capacity tile to a higher max power output of 71 watts, about a 22% increase. So the power and performance is there, but the company continued to lag terribly with installations. 
Results from Q2 2022 show that on average, less than two dozen Tesla solar roofs were installed per week, and reports from Electrek claim that those installations have now come to a complete stop. Best case scenario, the plan is to restart those installations later this year with the introduction of solar roof version 3.5, which in theory will allow them to deploy these roofs at a higher volume than ever before. It likely won't be matching Elon's prediction of 1,000 roofs per week anytime soon, but progress is progress. If you enjoy learning about new topics and ideas, but struggle to get through long nonfiction books, then our sponsor Blinkist is perfect for you. Blinkist has over 5,000 titles in 27 different categories to choose from that are under 15 minutes. I find it difficult to read longer nonfiction books, so Blinkist allows me to gain key insights into topics I'm interested in so I can apply those lessons right away. One of the lessons I learned is from The Science and Technology of Growing Young by Sergey Young. I want to live a healthier and longer life, and this title has fun insights into the future and how you can help your body stay young immediately through diet and exercise. Studies have shown that moderate exercise for 15 to 20 minutes per day reduces your risk of dying by around 35%, which is kind of crazy. You can learn a lot in a short amount of time with Blinkist. It's one of my favorite apps and provides exceptional value. I would highly recommend trying it out today. And right now, Blinkist has a special offer just for our audience. Click the link in my description to start your free seven day trial with Blinkist and get 25% off of a premium membership. So that's all well and good. Putting solar panels on roofs is an easy win and it's a great way to power a house with sustainable energy, but that is not going to be enough to truly power a nation. We need to be thinking bigger if we're actually going to transition the world. Now, obviously Elon Musk and Tesla have yet to enter the large scale solar game, but there are other forward thinking companies funded by other very rich men who have already started to shape the industry. You may have heard recently that the Bill Gates backed company Terabase Energy has begun using autonomous robots to construct solar panel farms. While Bill Gates has been the name pulling the headlines on this story, the funding is actually coming from a venture capital firm named Breakthrough Energy. And they've got a few investors that you might recognize, such as Jeff Bezos, Richard Branson, Michael Bloomberg, and Jack Ma, just to name a few. There are like two dozen obscenely rich individuals involved in this thing, and they are all putting their money into sustainable energy. That should tell you something. Out of the several dozen companies that this VC is invested in, Terabase is by far one of the most innovative. And I think they show an excellent vision of what Tesla Solar might evolve into if given enough time and resources. Like we said, what makes Terabase different is their use of autonomous robots in the construction of their large-scale solar farms. They just set the robots about their business and come back to an assembled solar power plant. We know from Tesla's experience with vehicle manufacturing that automation equals efficiency, and greater efficiency equals lower costs and higher volumes. The startup recently wrapped its first commercial project where its robots reportedly installed 10 megawatts worth of panels. Now, this is a long way from their goal of constructing at the terawatt scale. There are 1 million megawatts in a terawatt, but it's a great start and a proof of concept. The United States government has estimated that it would require 22,000 square miles of solar panels to provide enough electricity to power the nation. For scale, that's about the size of Lake Michigan. Imagine what it would take to build something that large. Now, obviously one giant solar installation to power the entire nation is probably not a very good idea, but that does mean we are going to need one hell of a lot of smaller ones to make this happen. And the only way to do that in a cost-effective and time-sensitive way is by implementing robotics and automation into the process. And that isn't about taking people's jobs or replacing humans with robots. 
That's just acknowledging that we don't have enough labor right now to even maintain the infrastructure that we have, let alone build more on an unprecedented scale. I don't know what it's like where you are, but in our city, major construction projects like new light rail systems and bridge replacements have already been delayed by a year at least due to labor constraints. And that brings us right back into Tesla and how they can evolve Tesla Solar to be a major force in this global transition. We know that Elon is all in on robotics with not only self-driving cars, but now an autonomous humanoid robot that is specifically designed to take over human jobs that are boring, repetitive, and dangerous. And because Tesla has spent the past seven or eight years rapidly iterating on their autonomous vehicle program, the company has become a global leader in robots and real-world artificial intelligence. Installing massive solar panel farms is likely going to be on the capability of the first-generation Tesla bot. Most recently, Elon has been pitching his Optimus as more of a general service droid that can help out around the house, cut the grass, and help take care of elderly people. But we've seen how quickly Tesla can scale up. So maybe their first robot is a glorified C-3PO, but maybe they quickly expand the Tesla bot lineup to include heavy duty worker bots like the ones that are being deployed by TerraBase. We don't know any of the specifics yet, the company is playing it close to the chest, but they have claimed that their robots can lift entire solar panel arrays and place them into automated sun trackers. So. Once you start thinking in this kind of headspace, it becomes pretty obvious just how Tesla's existing technology would scale up from megawatt hours to terawatt hours. Just imagine fleets of self-driving Tesla semis hauling megapack batteries in solar panel arrays. Those get offloaded on-site to trailers towed by autonomous cyber trucks that bring them into position for heavy-duty industrial strength Tesla bots to complete the final installation. Everything is done zero emissions, electric, autonomous, safe, affordable, efficient, and most importantly, fast. Is that wishful thinking? I don't know, maybe, but it's not make-believe either. That's just a vision of what could happen if you take the existing Tesla ecosystem and just scale it up to the size that it will reach in a decade from now. But that's just where my brain goes. Where do you think the future will take Tesla energy if they can continue to grow and innovate well into the future? Drop your theories in the comments below. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up today if you liked it. That is so important for getting our content out to more people. If you enjoy the content, then you'd probably also enjoy our weekly newsletter. So sign up with the link down below at theteslaspace.com. A huge thank you to all of our Patreon supporters who are listed on the screen now. You help us make the best content we can, and we really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.